Hi guys, welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today is the sketch book flip through day that I told you about. Um, and I believe most of these paintings are in watercolor unless I state otherwise. But um, I have been working on some watercolor sketching videos uh, for you. I have one that I need to get ready and get out to you. And so I'm basically just filming everything I do. And if it turns out all right, then I'll go ahead and post it as a YouTube video. Um, sometimes it's hard though because the camera gets in my way and it's, it's just hard to focus mentally because I'm thinking about the video instead of focusing on what I need to get done. So my paintings never turn out as good when I do them on camera as they do when I'm just doing them by myself. But, um, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the sketchbook flip through. I filmed it once and was totally off camera, as I will tell you. So I had to do it a second time. Hi, you guys. This is take two of a video that I started earlier because I um, can't get used to the way my camera is set up now. My arm uh, for my camera is in front of me. And I can't put it beside me because I'm a lefty and I can't, there's no space over here. So I'm struggling and I had you off of frame for half of the video. So I'm gonna, or had me off of frame half of the video. I'm gonna be doing a sketchbook tour for you or flip through for you. And um, this is a Strathmore watercolor travel journal, which is a paper, uh, journal and I wanted to try it. Uh, I had bought two of these. They don't longer sell these, I guess. That's what I've heard. Um, but it's 140 pound cotton paper. And to be honest, I really did not care for this paper. Some people love it. I did not care for it. The reason for that is I felt like my watercolors were very dull and would sink into the paper and they just weren't they weren't looking right, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna check and make sure that I am in frame here. Yeah, I've got this far enough away now that I think I can can do this. Okay, this is not much of a sketchbook, but uh, sketchbooks are about learning and not so much about having a gorgeous presentation, although some people are worried about that and make it that way. But um, my first page here, was um, July 2nd. This is at the lake right near my house. Uh, it says, Diesel died yesterday. I'm so empty without him. And my painting was horrible. But um, I was really grieving horribly. And I still am. It's not going away, you guys. I thought getting a new dog would help me, but... It hasn't helped me like it helped me with the previous dogs. Diesel was just something special. This um, is a big log, a driftwood log and sign. The trunk on it is huge. It's enormous. And it's a big sign that's at my friend's house. And they put all sorts of signs on there for things that are close by. Charity Island, 18 miles away, Key West, Hundred or 1,343 miles. Huron Dunes is where they live. Midland is the mid middle of our state. It's a city called Midland. Houghton being in one case, Phil, nine and a half miles. The Big Rock, which is down the beach from us, which is an enormous rock. You could probably fit, well, shoulder to shoulder, 100 people on it. It's huge. But uh, Pompeii, Pinnabog, um, this is Pompeii, Michigan, 125 miles. So anyway, I, I was sitting in the sun. We were, everybody was just having a great time on the beach and I was struggling. Um, this was July 3rd at the beach. Jason and Monica, my son and daughter-in-law are with us. Diesel has been gone three, day three. So I was really, really struggling and they were trying to keep me cheered up. This is a spot where, uh, Pat and I were looking at some property, hunting property for him. We ended up not buying it. We thought the price was way too high, and it was. 
um, but it's very close to a boat launch and water in an outlet into Lake Huron. Lake Huron was all behind this grass, and I was standing on the dock and decided to sketch that real quick. And then we went camping at the end of July last year with my um, sister and brother-in-law. <clears throat> it says, it rained all night, and we had a very misty morning at Bear Paw Park in Whittemore. That was the day that we were burying my father, and his cemetery was near there. That's where we buried my mother. My father had lived there, retired there, but then had to move down to the city, Detroit area where we lived. And I lived for about four months before then I moved up north and moved away from him. I was really bummed about that. But uh, this is thistle. There, it says there's lots of it blooming throughout Elkona County Park. It is so pretty here. That's a park that my husband and I have camped at multiple times. Then this was uh, a pine at Elkona Park, a couple sites down from ours. Had to go over the tree with gouache. Wasn't feeling well at the time. Lots of pain. Perspective is all off. That tree was enormous, and it took up a bigger spot, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. But anyway, didn't turn out well at all. I was in too much pain. Then this <clears throat> was part of a plein air painting. And you see what I mean about the way the water is? It just, I don't know. The, the way it took watercolor was driving me nuts. Although I liked the clouds okay. But um, I painted this over by the second cabin at Alcona Park. This is a dam over here at the park the Asabo River feeds into it the dam is excluded over there but it's all but it but is left of this island that was in the center we were camping over here by the island and then I drove a few miles around to find a spot to use my you go anywhere um pushad and easel and I really loved it it's not a pushad it's an easel and I really Love that. And I had a video for you, really good videos, but they got sucked out when I had to fix my camera and everything, and I have it all on storage, so it'll be hard for me to do a video on it. I might as well just redo it at this point. But um, then I did a second plein air sketch while I was sitting there because there was this bluebird, or not bluebird, blue jay that was flying around me, flying around me, and I thought, well, they couldn't be having a nest of babies because it was August at that point, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, so I just sat there watching it, and while I did that, I sketched the tree. Then the lake was in the background. I didn't put that part into the sketch. This was me um, putting down those Staedtler tinted watercolor graphite pencils and just playing around with them a little bit. And then I ended up making this elephant out of, um, I hope I'm on frame here, made this elephant with those same tinted pencils. And then here is a watercolor palette that I had made up. Then several months passed and I started getting back into painting and I painted this seagull um, from a picture that I had seen online somewhere, and I thought, oh, this is so cute, and then I made this and did that with it. But I had also, at the same time, bought some Daniel Smith gouache, <clears throat> and these were the colors I bought. I got this set of primaries, and then I got yellow ochre, I believe, and burnt sienna, and then these were all the colors that I was coming up with from those five six six colors that I have um, so I was able to make all of these just goes to show you you don't need a lot of colors um, having six colors like this a warm and cool yellow warm and cool red an ultramarine blue and a burnt sienna and I was all set so the Daniel Smith gouache I'm going to do a review on I'm sure you guys have probably seen many while I was away from YouTube but um, I will tell you my thoughts on the gouache, and you might be surprised. Then, fall, I skipped a few pages in my book by accident, and this was done in September of last year, 
and then this was done in uh, January of this year, I think, or December, I don't know. Uh, not, this was just a couple of leaves that I found on the ground and some acorns, so I did this. And then these are mess-ups. This was a watercolor sketch that I was doing. I screwed up the um, shadows and the snow. And then I redid it again today in gouache. It's a, it's a view outside my window here. And still did not like the way it turned out. I'm just struggling to get my painting legs back. And I have a commission to do, so I've got to get it together because I've got to do this commission. So I'm going to be working on that this week. And then this is my teacup that I was drinking out of. And my perspective was kind of looking down. I didn't get this ellipse correct. It should have been deeper. And then my saucer, I think, needed to come in a little bit. But um, the dog was in my lap and making me paint all over the place and spill. And I spilled ink everywhere, so then I splattered it because I had spills all over the place. Then I wrote the end. And I finished my last video that was all screwed up, and I realized I still had another page to go, but I'm done with this book. Don't really care for it. It was okay, but I, nah, not my favorite book. So, that's that. And then this is the one I'm working on currently. I only have, I believe, oh, I don't know, like, um, oh, that was a mess up. So is that. There's a lot of mess-ups in here. I have, let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, nine pages left. And I'm going to be finishing this over the next couple weeks. And I will do a flip-through of this one for you. And you can see all of my mess-ups trying to get my art legs back. And then I bought a couple new books. Uh, I got a Stillman & Burns Ada book. Don't ask me why. I didn't care for Stillman and Byrne. Never did. Some of you may like them. Please don't take it personally. When I don't like a product, people go off on me and tell me I'm nuts. These are personal opinions. So if you like Stillman and Byrne sketchbooks, woo more power to you. Keep them in business. I, did, I thought I would try this. I got a beta book that I had gotten from an old YouTube uh, viewer, of friend of mine, Instagram friend of mine, and he has since passed away. I miss him a lot. But anyway, uh, he had sent me a beta series book, and I never finished that book. Uh, it had a soft cover kind of like this, but uh, it had the off-white pages, and I like bright white. Um, and the texture of the paper was too smooth for me, too much like hot press, and I don't like that. So I bought this book, a mixed media book, although it's 270 GSM, so that I could really use wet media on it. But I wanted something smooth for pen or pencil or whatever. So I got this book, and I thought, this will be nice. Bright white pages, very thick, nice smooth, almost like Bristol paper. Very smooth, maybe even smoother. But the thing I don't like about this is it does not lay flat. How can Stillman and Byrne not get it together to make a stay flat book? A sketchbook of all things. It does not stay flat. And the reason for that is their binding. It does not collapse. It needs to collapse. So when I open the book in the front, this is what I get. I get this lift which raises it up, and then this is like in the air. Then I get to the back of the book, and it's the opposite way. And then I get this that's in the air, and it does not lay flat. That drives me freaking batty. All of my other books, the perfect spe sketchbook lays flat, and um, see how it collapses? The binding collapses so that you get it soft, and you get a nice flat page. But you need a soft binding in order to do that. They've made this as hard as this. And cardboard down the middle. This one does not have that. It has the sewn edge. 
You can feel it if you run your finger through it. You can see all the sewn bumpies in there that I have. And it lays flat. All of my other sketchbooks do too. My Strathmore does. Um, this other Strathmore does. I've got all sorts of books and they lay flat, but this one will not. So I'm going to try and use it anyway. I may try to do double spreads, but I wanted to get a portrait book because I wanted to do more tall, vertical type of paintings rather than always horizontal. And so I thought having a book like this would be nice. And if I wanted to do a nice horizontal spread, I could do it on a stay flat binding. But I guess I'll have to put a book under it. Not that one, obviously. Maybe this one. Um, in order to keep it flat, which is what I'm going to have to do. Why in the world would a company as big as them not get that together? What person who sketches does not like a stay flat, open flat page? We all do, which is why I bought this book. Um, I have a hardcover Strathmore 500 series mixed media book. And this one I got soft cover because I didn't want the hard cover and I wanted a small book. Um, this is 100% cotton, but it's only 90 pounds. This is 270 GSM, so it's probably 120 pound. Nice, thick, heavy paper. This one is 90 pound paper, much thinner, but would be great for gouache. I was tired of using expensive, like perfect sketchbook expensive, 100% cotton paper for my gouache paintings. I don't feel that I need that. So I'm going to try doing this. And this stays flat throughout. It's great. It just stays flat. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use this. And again, I got the portrait si style. I also have been working on the figure drawing, which I haven't been working on the last few days because I get bored because I'm not good at it. <laughs> but you don't get good at it unless you practice, right? So that's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and finish this book up, and then once I get it finished, I will do a flip through for you of that book. But like I said, you guys, I don't worry so much about a sketchbook being a beautiful book because it's a book to practice in. Um, and I have my watercolor paper and canvases and all that kind of stuff to do my actual work work in. So I'm not worried about that with this. But that is it for this video. Um, yeah, that's a whiteout blizzard that you see in the background. It is a whiteout. But uh, I just wanted to say goodbye. So uh, remember, be courageous. Paint with wild abandon. And most of all, be kind to each other. I will be having a sketching watercolor pen and ink, or er, ink and wash video for you coming very soon. So take care, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye.